Hello and welcome to my channel, The Purple Poncho. I'm Carolyn and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful angel doll. This angel doll is made using basic crochet stitches and is very cute. Thank you for being here and let's get crocheting. In this video, we will be using a size H crochet hook some scissors, a yarn needle, some pipe cleaner, some polyfiber fill, and some number four worsted weight yarn. Begin with a slip knot on your hook, and we're going to start with chain four. One, two, three, four. Next, we will place 11 double crochet stitches in that first chain or the fourth chain from our hook. So place 11 double crochet in that first chain and that chain 4 counts as one double crochet plus the chain. So we're going to have 12 double crochet stitches at the end of round 1. So there's four, five, and twelve. We're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. to complete the round. For round two, we can start chain three and double crochet in the same stitch. Chain one and place two double crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to repeat this all the way around two doubles in the next stitch, chain one. And repeat that around. My last couple of stitches two doubles in the last stitch, chain one, and then we're going to slip stitch to the top of my beginning chain three. Here's round two. Round three, slip stitch in the next stitch, and then slip stitch into the chain one space. That's to set up the round. Next we will chain one and place three single crochet in the chain one space. One, two, three. And next we will slip stitch in the next stitch. And that is going in between the two double crochets. Repeat again. Three single crochet in the next chain one space. Slip stitch in the next stitch. We're going to repeat this all the way around. To finish the round, slip stitch in the last stitch, and now we're ready for round four. To begin, chain five counts as our first double, and two for our chain two space, 
and double crochet again in that same stitch. Chain two. Skip the three singles, working again in that slip stitch from the previous round. Place double crochet there. Chain two and double crochet in the same stitch. Chain two, skip three singles, double crochet in the next stitch, chain two, and double crochet in the same stitch again. So we're going to repeat this all the way around. End the round with chain two and slip stitch to the third chain of the chain five. So that is round four. Isn't that pretty? Okay, round five, we're going to slip stitch into our chain two space. Begin with chain three and double crochet in the same space chain one and two more double crochet in the same space. Chain two, come over to your chain two space, skip this chain two space, come over to your next chain two space and place two doubles chain one and two doubles chain two skip the next space go into your next chain two space and place two doubles and we're going to repeat this sequence all the way around Finishing up the round, end with chain two and slip stitch to the top of your chain three. So for your next round, slip stitch in the next stitch and slip stitch into the chain one space. We're going to chain three, counts as our first double make another double in the same space chain one and two more doubles in the same space chain three and make another two doubles in the chain one space chain one and two doubles this round is exactly like the round before, except we're going to chain three in between our little shell stitches here. All right, so repeat that around. Ending the round with chain three, slip stitch to the top, of our beginning chain three. Here's how it's looking. For round seven, begin with slip stitch in the next stitch and slip stitch in the chain one space. Chain three, make our little two doubles, chain one and two doubles. in that same chain space, chain one space, chain three and repeat that one more time make our little shell stitch two doubles 
chain one, two doubles. Next, we're going to chain three, and we're going to place six trebles in the next chain one space. There's one. chain three and repeat the sequence again. To end the round, chain three and slip stitch to the top of the chain three stitch. Beginning stitch. So we should have four areas of six travels. So two shells in between each set of trebles. Okay, so that is round seven. Round eight. As always, we begin slip stitch over into the chain one space. Chain three. Our beginning double crochet in the same stitch, chain one, and double crochet in the same. Chain one twice, chain four, repeat our shell again, two doubles, chain one, and two doubles, chain four, and now working in our treble stitches here. Our first treble is right here. We're going to single there, chain three, going into our next stitch. You can either go between or you can go in the stitch. Either way is fine. and chain three and single crochet in the next stitch and we're going to repeat that going across the treble stitches chain three and single crochet in the next stitch chain three and single crochet in the next stitch So we should have five little chain three spaces going across the treble stitches. And then we're just going to repeat in the round with chain four and slip stitch to the beginning single. And here's how it's looking. Okay, the final round we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and again in the chain one space. Start with our shell, chain three, double crochet in the same space, chain one, and two doubles in the same chain one space, chain four. Skip over to the next chain one space and make another shell. Two doubles, chain one, two doubles, chain four. And next we will be working in the chain three spaces. 
So skip over into your first chain one or chain three space and make three single crochets in the chain three space. There's two and three. Next, we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and then work a repeat again of three singles in the chain three space and slip stitch in the next stitch. Three singles in the next chain three space and slip stitch in the next stitch. Repeat again, three singles and slip. And then in our last chain three space, we're going to place three more single crochet stitches. Chain four and repeat again. End with chain four and slip stitch to the top of your chain three, end up your yarn and pull it through. So this is the body of the angel. Okay. So we're just going to set this aside for now and we're going to repeat uh, rounds one through three for the wings. I've completed rounds one through three for the wing. Next, I will chain five, which counts as a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet in the same stitch. Chain two, come over to the next uh, slip stitch. We're going to skip the three stitches, double crochet there, chain two, and double crochet in the same stitch. We're going to repeat this only five times. And we're making one wing at a time. So we will be working in rows instead of rounds for the wings. So there's one, two, three, this is four. And chain two and come over to my next slip stitch and make double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So we're gonna stop right here. So that is row four. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to stop right there, row four, now row five, we're going to chain one and turn, we're going to slip stitch in our beginning stitch, and then slip stitch into the chain two. That's to get us into that space. Chain three, double crochet, chain one, and two more double crochet in the same chain two space, chain two, repeat that again, two doubles, chain one, two doubles in the same chain two space. Next, chain two, and we're going to put six treble crochets in the next chain two space. Skip the first chain two, going into the next chain two space, and six trebles in there. There's three. Four, five, and six.
and then to finish, chain two, show in the next, well, skip two, chain two, and then show in the next chain two space, chain one, and two doubles in the same chain two space, chain two, skip chain two space, and in our last chain two space, we're doing our shell again, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, and that is row five. Row six, chain one and turn, slip stitch in the same stitch, slip stitch in the next stitch, and slip stitch into the chain one space. Chain three, counts as our double, make another double, chain one, two doubles, we're going to chain four here, and make our next shell, chain four, and coming over to our trebles, going into the next stitch, chain three, go in the next stitch, single, chain three, single, chain three, Single. We're going to repeat this all the way across our trebles. We should have five chain three spaces, and we're going to end the round or row, excuse me, with chain four, shell, chain four, and shell. And then we have one more row after this to finish one side of our wing. And then we will repeat the same thing on the other side for the other wing. Chain four and shell. chain one and turn, we're going to slip stitch until we get to the chain one space chain three double chain one, two doubles in the same chain one space chain four and skip over to the chain one space and shell again chain one and two doubles okay chain four and we're going to skip over to the chain three our first chain three space three singles in there stitch in the next stitch and three singles in the chain three space A slip stitch in the next stitch we're going to repeat this across the chain three spaces until we get to the last chain three space Three singles, slip stitch in the next. In our last chain three space, we're just going to chain or single crochet three times in the chain three space. And we're gonna omit that slip stitch and chain four and finish off with shell in the chain one space.
chain four. And shell in the last chain one space. Then we're going to end up our yarn here. So here's how the wing, one side of our wing is looking. And I'm leaving a little bit longer tail than I normally would, so we can use it for weaving in later on. Okay, so here is one side of the wing. Now to start the other side of the wing, I'm going to look at my stitches and on round three, this is the wrong side, okay? So I'm going to turn it over and now I have the right side facing, which round four we had the right side facing as well. So next I'm going to count over one, two, and I'm going to start my work right here. So we're going to have the five um, areas. So there's one, two, three, four, five. We're going to end right here. And then these, this one, these two will be open. So that's how I know if I'm in the right spot. And I'm going to start, you could start with a standing double crochet here. Or you could also start with a slip stitch and chain four. Start like that. Either way is fine. And then double in the same. But the most important part right here is that you have two sets of the three single crochets. And then down here you'll have two sets that are not, that are open. So we're going to stop right here. I guess you could put a stitch marker right here. I don't have one handy. So let me show you. So chain two. Going into my next. Skipping the, the three singles. Going into the next stitch. Double. Chain two and double crochet in the same. Chain two, and we're going to repeat this five times on the other wing. So we're going to repeat the same steps. I'm just showing you how to get started on the second wing and the placement of it. And then the rows are exactly the same as I just showed you. is what I mean by that. And now we have two sets at the bottom and two sets at the top that are not worked. So go ahead, that's row four. So repeat rows five through seven for the other side of the wing. And I'll meet you back. I finished my wings, both sides. And here's how it's looking. And next I will show you how to make the head. Start with a slip knot on your hook and chain two and place six single crochet in that first chain. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Go ahead and slip stitch to that first single. 
and that's round one, round two, chain one, and place two single in every stitch. So two in each stitch, so we'll have 12 singles going around. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, so I have twelve, so I'm going to slip stitch to my beginning single crochet stitch. And that's round two. So each round we're going to start with uh, two single and then one single in the next. So two single and one in the next. And here's the last one. And we're going to slip stitch to my beginning single crochet. So we should have 18. Now rounds four we're, round four we're going to start again with two single and then we're going to put one single in the next stitch and one single in the next. This is the most difficult round because it's counting in twos for both um, sets so <laughs> it's one, two in the same stitch and then one in the next and one in the next. Alright, so two in the next stitch and one stitch in the next two stitches. So if your stitch count goes off, it's probably going to be on this round. My last two stitches and slip stitch to my beginning stitch. Okay, so I should have 24 stitches or roughly 24 stitches. Now, the next round, we're going to just place one single in every stitch going around. And as we do this, it's going to start uh, curling up like a bowl. So we're going to do round five, round six, and round seven. Just one single crochet all the way around. Round eight, we're going to start the decrease. Begin by chain one and go in the next stitch in the front loop and the next stitch go in the front loop only and yarn over, pull through and then yarn over and pull through two. So we begin with a single crochet two together but we're going in the front loop. We're going to place a single crochet in the next stitch as we normally would and again in the next. And now we're ready for a single crochet two together in the front loop. So go in the front loop and go in the front loop. Yarn over, pull through and then yarn over, pull through two. And it's going to make the single cro crochet decreases practically invisible. So we're going to repeat this all the way around. One single in the next two stitches and single crochet two together going in the front loop. So repeat this around. My last two stitches, this is single crochet and single crochet. In the next slip stitch to my beginning stitch and we should have approximately 18 single crochets going around. We're going to repeat this similar sequence, chain one. Go on the next stitch, front loop, 
next stitch front loop starting with a single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next so at the end of this round we should have 12 stitches or around 12. If you're off a few stitches it's not a big deal. So repeat that around. I have 12 stitches going around and if you would like to start stuffing the head you can put a little bit of stuffing in now and get it going. As you start closing up the head it gets a little bit difficult to insert the stuffing. Before I finish up this angel head, I'm going to make the halo out of pipe cleaner. And what I like to do for this is kind of measure around the head, the top of the head. About that big. You can it just depends on how big you want it. And then I just hold it over and just wrap it around each other so it'll stay in place and then just form the halo however you like in a circle and I'm going to find the back which is right here of her head so I'm going to place this stem going down the back but I'm going to place it inside the head. So I measured it on top like this. Like, See how long I need this part here? So I'm going to cut it about this far down, an inch or inch and a half down. And then I'm going to stick it inside my head. See. Now I gotta take some of the stuffing out. Okay, I want to find the end of my little halo here. Pull it down inside the head. Okay. And now I'm gonna put the stuffing back in. And I'm going to pull the halo towards the center of the head and put some stuffing on the other side of it so that the halo stem is kind of in the middle of the head inside. Okay. Let's see how that's looking. Looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm ready to close up the angel head by doing the crochet two together. It's really fat. <laughs> Might have too much stuffing in here now, but we'll see. Okay, so I need to slip stitch my last round closed. And now single crochet two together. All the way around. And 
slip stitch to my last stitch. And just shape your head a little bit. Thank you. So we are ready to put the angel together. I'm going to leave a long tail. Next I will show you how to assemble the angel. I have a uh, yarn needle on my tail. I have that off to one side and I'm going to go to the six trebles and I'm going to fold that down towards the center. Next I'm going to pick up this chain four area right next to the neck here and I'm going to bring them together in the back. Okay and then I'm just going to turn it over Still holding it and then I'm going to bring it together in the back and match up the stitches here so I'm looking for where my tail is and then these these two shells I want to match them up together and then I'm going to run my tail down so weaving in my ends and connecting it together at the same time so I'm coming down here to my uh, it's two doubles chain one two doubles so it's the last row here that I'm going to sew together right here so I'm going to go underneath my double crochet, those four stitches, and I'm going to come back down the other four on the other side. I'm just going to go around in a circle this way and connect these, these two shells together. It's going to form like a little, it's going to look like a little bow in her back. So I start by doing this. And then we would weave in the end and tie that off. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to grab my wings. Set that aside. Grab my wings. I want the right side of my final round of the wings facing up and then we're going to fold the wings in half. I'm going to just quickly weave in this end here. We don't need the beginning of my round here. Okay. So weave that in. All right. Okay, so we have our wings folded in half, and I take the tail on one side and whip stitch it together to the other side of this, the same wing, it's just folded in half. Going in the top of that chain three and just whip stitch the ends together here. Tie that off and then weave in your end. So do that on both sides. Do it on the other side as well. Then bring back your dress or the body and lay the wings at the top by her neck. Turn it over and let's place it. So here's our circle. We want to be in the center of our circle. Here's where her head will be. 
and I just want to line it up like so and grab my head put this tail back on my yarn needle and holding it's kind of hard to hold it all up but going into the front of the head let's see and then the top of my dress going through both sides of that and then going through my wings a little bit further down let's go ahead and pull that through and just start going back and forth going through the wings and the dress and her head it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be <clears throat> exact I'm just eyeing it Picking up some dress, going through some wing, and pull it down. Already oh, looks so cute, right? <laughs> Just gone through a couple times. So, this is what I do go through a couple times, going back and forth this way, maybe a couple two times going sideways or not sideways front to back like so through the dress and now I would go sideways like I just said go through the head this way pull that through come back down to the dress Grab a little bit of the the wing and then go back across. I just quickly seam her together. Okay. And that's basically all that I do. You could tack down her wings. I just, I've been, the only thing I tack down in the back is this bottom part. It makes it look like a bow. Okay. You could tack down further up if you like on her dress. And then you could also tack down the wings if you like. But basically, this is all I do. And I think she's adorable. I hope you love her. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on how to make this beautiful angel doll. Thank you for being here and crocheting with me today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website at thepurpleponcho.com for more crochet, knit, and Tunisian crochet patterns. Have a wonderful day.